Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another Fick and Apt breakdown video, but this will actually be a remake of a previous video that I've uploaded. It was actually the very first app breakdown video that I've done, which is on the app basics. I uploaded that last year, but ever since then, I feel like the app has changed quite a bit. And so I wanted to make an updated video for all of you. So you have something new to reference and the information will be a little bit more updated. And so if you're interested in these kinds of videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and just keep on watching. So to start off, what the app is, is basically a digital component to the Figpin collecting experience. If you've never heard of Figpins before, they're collectible enamel pins. And the unique thing about them is that each one of the pins comes with a serial number on the back. The Figpin app is found in either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. You can download it on your phone. And if you put the serial number from your pin into the app, then the app will show you all the information about your pin. So it'll show the run size of the pin, if it's it's a common or if it's an exclusive. It'll also show you specific information about your pin. So for example, what number in the factory line it was. It'll show you which edition that pin is. So the app shows you a lot of information about your pin, which I think actually makes the fig pin collecting experience very unique. Another convenient thing about the app is that you can see all of your fig pins in your phone. And so as you can see, my collection right here and these bins right here, <laughs> I still haven't set it up yet. But I have a very, very big collection of fake pins and it's definitely very difficult to track all of them. And so the app has become very convenient for me to be able to search which pin I have, if I have that pin in my collection even. And it's just really convenient to be able to just track your entire collection from your phone and all of your information for your pins is like right there, which I think is really, really nice. The other thing about the app is that it gives each pin a uniqueness. If you're collecting a certain pin from a certain line, all of them look the same, but because each pin has a unique serial number, your app will tell you if your pin is more special or not because there are things such as sequence bonuses if you get the first pin off of the production line. It's really, really special when you find that out and there's just a lot of really fun aspects about the app. It really does enhance the collecting experience. I personally didn't use the app for a while when I first started collecting fig pins and when I discovered the app is when I really started getting into the community because the community helped me out with understanding what the app means, what all the numbers mean. There's also app exclusive pins. And so there are certain pins that you can only get if you have the Figpin app. So it's also useful for that as well. So if you've been collecting fig pins already, you might know this as unlocking a pin, but the term I believe is now called claiming a pin. Basically what claiming a pin means is you take the serial number on the back of your pin, you put it into the app, and then you add that pin to your collection. I thought it would be good to kind of demo how to claim a pin if you've never done it before. So to do that, I have this pin right here, um, Zenitsu, this is a Chalice Collectibles exclusive pin. Because I haven't claimed this pin yet, I thought it would be good to do it for this video so I could kind of show you all how to do it. So when you open the pin, you just take it off of the stand right here. So if you see, when you take the backer off of the pin, there is a serial number on the back. This serial number is what you put into the app. So you go into your app, you click the little lock tab. You have to create an account and everything, but once you've created your account, you go into the lock tab of your um, app. Then you just type in the serial number. So mine is C2TC. 5x and if you haven't claimed your pin yet make sure you don't share your serial number with anybody because they can claim that pin to their own collection so just be careful of that um, once you enter the serial number into the app it'll load and then it'll show you your pin so you see all of this information about your pin and in order to add it to your collection you all you have to do is click that claim button if, if you see that little tab if you see that little box that says claim you just click that orange button and then click claim now so once you've claimed that pin, it'll be added to your collection immediately. But once you've claimed your pin, then it'll be added to your collection and then you'll be able to do what you want with the pin from there. Let's say you're trading your pin with somebody else and you already had claimed that pin to your own collection. If you want to release it, all you have to do in order to release your pin is to click on that pin in your collection, go to the bottom of the screen and it says release. Just click that button and then it'll release that pin from your collection. So once the pin is released, 
then somebody else can come and claim that pin to their own collection. As long as your pin is in your collection, no one else can claim it, which is why you should be careful with your serial numbers if you're planning to keep it for yourself because once someone else claims that pin to their app, then you are technically not the original claimer anymore. So when you see on the screen my Zenitsu that I just claimed to my collection, it has a little card that says claim and then it says first claim. So that basically means since no one has seen this specific Zenitsu's serial number and put it into their app, I was the first one to put it into my app, which means I'm the original claimer. If I had bought this second hand from somebody else and they had claimed it to their app before I did, and then I claimed it after they did, then my card would say re claim because I was not the original claimer and that also lowers the score of the pin a little bit so if you want to be the original claimer for your pin then make sure you don't share your serial number with anybody and make sure that it doesn't show up on the internet I think that's all I wanted to mention about how to claim a pin So moving on to the next section is collection power. Collection power is basically the total accumulation of all of your pins and their scores into one giant score. If you look at the top of your app, there's a green number and then there's a purple number. The purple number is your collection power. So when you click on a pin, it'll show you the power of that individual pin. So for my Zenitsu right now, the fake pin power is 2,500. So that adds 2,500 to my total collection power. How the fake pin power is calculated is basically just your factory score multiplied by your story score. So if you see at the top of your pin details, there's a factory score and a story score and then a number next to each one. If you multiply the two together, you get your fake pin power. If you're curious about what your factory factory score and your story score means and how they're calculated, I have a separate video which is a Figpin app breakdown stats explained. That video goes more in depth on how each of the factory scores and story scores are calculated for your pin. But for now, all you need to know is that your Figpin power consists of your factory score times your story score. Now you're probably wondering what is so good about having a high collection power. I think for the longest time it used to just be bragging rights people would try to get like the highest collection power and right now there's still like leaderboards of people who have the highest collection power highest victim power and everything so that part is really fun because it's kind of like a competitive aspect where people just try to gather as much power as possible but there are other uses to your collection power the main use for your collection power is to buy app exclusive fig pins there was an app exclusive drop for Riku from Kingdom Hearts that that one was I believe limited to 500 pieces and on top of that there's ultras now and because ultras have been dropping more regularly we just had our second ultra drop a week ago I believe because ultras are in play now as well your collection power matters a little bit more the first ultra that dropped was Vader and you needed to have 350,000 collection power in order to purchase that one the next ultra that dropped which was a week or two ago was Altair from Assassin's Creed and that one you actually needed 1 million Million collection power in order to buy that from the app. The requirements I feel like are kind of going up based on this pattern. So if you really want to get into collecting ultras, then you do need to have a certain collection power. Nowadays, it's been a lot easier to get that power up because like the ultras are in circulation, your pins can get max boosted a lot easier. Pins are just worth a lot more power now because of the first claim and the launch system. If none of this is making sense to you, uh, make sure to watch my other videos in this playlist because they will explain a lot of the other nuances of how the app works. But for now, all you need to know is that your collection power is an accumulation of all of your fig pins power put together, and you will need your collection power in order to buy app exclusive fig pins, such as the Ultra or other app exclusive drops. The last thing that I will mention in this video is your collector score. Your collector score is the green number in the app. Your collector score is a little bit different from your collection power because it's not dependent on the fig pins that you have in your collection. How to raise your collector score, there's a few ways. The first one is to create your account. Creating your account will give you 1000 points automatically. And then you create a username. The username will give you 500 points. And then if you add an avatar image to your account, then you'll earn another 500 points to your collector score 
score and that will give you 2,000. 2,000 collector score is the minimum that you need in order to purchase an Ultra. So make sure to do those three things and you should be good to meet that requirement at the very least. The other ways to raise your collector score if you see people who have much higher ones is either to purchase and claim an Ultra to your collection. If you claim an Ultra to your collection, you automatically get another 1,500 added to your collector score. And then another way to raise your collector score is to actually participate in verifications. So this is a little bit more of a specific one and not everyone can do it. I think there was like a window of time where you were able to sign up to volunteer for verification videos, but that one's very niche. And then the last way to do it is to attend events. The first time that they did this was during the warehouse party this year. If you attended, you get 500 points added to your collector score. So those are all the ways that you're able to add to your collector score, but the main ways are the three steps to create your account, create your username and your avatar photo, and then to um, claim an ultra to your app. The significance of the collector score is basically for boosts. If you don't know what boosts are, they're basically just ways to give other fig pins or your fig pins like a little extra appreciation. If you boost a pin, you're adding one point to that pin's story score, which increases its power. So the more boosts the pin has, then the more power it will accumulate, which is just a nice way of boosting that pin and it's a very community driven thing lots of people will like boost each other's pins and there's like a whole community and groups around it if you're curious about how boosting works you can check out my other fake pin app breakdown video on boost specifically basically how the collector score works with boosting is that for every 500 points you have in your collector score you get one boost if you look at my collector score i have 6540 so that is 6500 divided by 500 which means i get 13 boosts to give out every single day. That will vary per person depending on if they've done verification videos, if they have ultras and all of that. At the minimum, people usually have around four boosts per day to give out and then some. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I know it's a lot of information. I'm trying to keep this video short so that you can go and watch the other videos that go more in depth. This video was just supposed to be the basic overview of the app to make sure that newer collectors kind of get a feel for what the app does, what the significance of the numbers are that way you know how to collect fake pins or if you want to get involved with the app at all so hopefully this video was helpful to somebody out there and hopefully it's understandable enough if you have any questions i do have an instagram that's linked in my description box down below so if you want to dm me and ask me any questions feel free to do that you can also leave a comment if you have any questions and i'm sure either me or somebody else can help you out as well hopefully i'll be doing more updated fake pin app breakdown videos in the future but for now i hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video and want to see more from me and also make sure to leave this video a like thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye